maybe we could do some instrumental or something like that. Hi everyone, welcome back to da, 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 another predestined, predestined kingdom ministries international videos. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All glory be to God. So I was just trying to put on like maybe an instrumental or something, but this other device died, so I'm just waiting um, a minute or two. I, it's been so long since I waited a minute or two for somebody to pop in first. And I think that was kind of selfish because while I'm waiting on somebody to come in, which you guys already be watching, but um, it also gives the Lord some time to come into the video too. And I realized I stopped doing that. Um <laughs> A while ago, so let's try to get back to the roots here. That's been working for us. So just waiting, guys. You guys like my afro? Decided to do an afro today. So and it's like cool because it's, it's my hair is really growing. Honestly, I cut my hair. I did a big chop and went natural in 2012. I haven't cut my hair since. I haven't taken care of it. Well, I was. I was, I used to take my. I used to take care of my hair. I used to play in my hair a lot and stuff. At work too, at my old jobs. I used to be bored sometimes. But anyway. Dun 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 dun. He said, "Okay, let's get started." Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed it be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread. Forgive me of all my debts as I forgive my debtors. And lead me not into temptation. But deliver me from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory. Amen. Welcome everyone. Popping on in. I will be reading from Proverbs 24 through 26. Okay. He who hates disguises it with his lips and lays up deceit within himself. When he speaks kindly, do not believe him. For there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Thank you, Jesus. Again, Proverbs 26, verse 24 through 26. This is the time where God is bringing judgment to the evildoers, to the wicked people. And you have to make sure you are right standing with the Lord. It's already done, the Lord is saying. Those who tried to repent, repented and did it again. Um, those who didn't repent, didn't want to repent. So, in over these next, like, week, you're going to see a lot of... You're going to see a lot of judgment. I hate to say it, but it's going to be death rising like God is not playing. He is not playing. <laughs> so pray. He doesn't even want us praying salvation prayers for them right now because <laughs> they don't want to stop. The enemy don't want to stop. And it's not, it, it, it's. It's the devil, but it's your heart. It's like this verse says, the abominations are in their heart. So it's like people just are evil. Some people are just evil. They're just evil. They don't want to change. No matter how much God showed them that they're wrong, they shouldn't have did this. It could be, yeah, I will hope, I will hope nobody around you gets judgment, but this is real life. So you're going to see strangers getting their judgment. You're going to see um, friends and family members getting their judgment. You Over this next week, God is getting ready to do it. And I'm not releasing no date. I have a specific date, but I'm not releasing that date. I have a date that the Lord gave me 
If you guys want the date, go watch Stephanie P on via YouTube. But this verse was on my phone this morning. So that's why we read in this verse. And yesterday's verse as well. Like God is really trying to prepare his children for what we're getting ready to see. It's, it's a lot. And it, God is not happy. So. People cover their hatred with deceit. With lies. So. That's why you hear a lot of talk about narcissistic people because that's what that kind of describes them. They're too faced in their two ways. And it's one side that you will see and it's a whole other side that you wouldn't even imagine that they have. And they'll lie about it. They'll say, oh, no, I never did this. Or they'll lie to make themselves look good, to edify themselves. And so... God is bringing judgment upon all of that. These people have ruined his children's lives. It's another testimony I have to share. It's a whole nother testimony. I'm going to send it in to AMI. It put spiritual hits out on some of us. Some of us had to really... <laughs> 150K? 150K to end this life? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. So, the wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Before the assembly. So, a lot of times, these people, these narcissistic people, or these wicked people, whatever you want to call them, they try to embarrass you. They'll go around telling lies on you, or you'll be going through, some, you'll be going through situations with them, and then when you try to tell somebody, nobody believe you, no, everybody think you high or you crazy, like, stuff like that, and so God is saying their judgment, their, what he's getting ready to do to them is going to be public, just like they tried to publicly embarrass you, publicly embarrass your business, Jesus, that same public shame that, that the evil one tried to do on you is what's getting ready to be done to them, okay? His wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. So, be careful how you treat people. Make sure you're not the wicked one. And don't lie to yourself. Okay, let God reveal to you where you're wrong and correct it. Don't deny what the Holy Spirit showed you you did. As bad as you didn't want to do it, as bad as you thought you didn't do it, receive the correction and the rebuke of the Lord so you don't have to get this far and get this kind of judgment for yourself. Now, the wicked is done. It's done, done, done. Like, it's done. It's done. Physical manifestation about to hit. Is done. So for us to make sure we're right standing, it takes you taking correction from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit, not um, ignoring what the Lord is showing you, whether it's through um, a stranger. Sometimes the Lord will have somebody walk up to you and say something, which is, thank you, Holy Spirit. Ask for your ears to be open. Ask for your eyes to be open so you can see and hear what the Lord um, can see and hear pertaining to yourself. Now, if you have an evil heart and you're trying to pray this prayer nine times out of ten, your eyes and ears will stay closed and God won't open them because he knows what you're going to do after he opens it. He already sees the end from the beginning. So... That's why yours is still closed. You have to change your heart first. But if you have a changed heart and you're ready to change your mind, your ways, your actions, you're ready to be done wholeheartedly, God will um, give, and you start being obedient and stuff, he'll give you that gift of, of, of seeing and hearing. Everybody don't have the gift of seeing and hearing through the Holy Spirit. It truly is a gift from the Lord. And it's placed upon us by his grace and mercies that he has on our life. Because we don't deserve nothing. If it's not through God's grace and mercy, we don't get it. <laughs> we, we don't get nothing. So, 
I pray that this video brings clarity. Um, also, be careful of these wicked people because they also speak kindly. Like I said, they have two sides to them. So the first side you know is, is the kind part. So when somebody try to show you another side or when the Lord starts showing you another side, you don't want to believe it. Like you like, uh-uh, this person too nice. No, 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 no. Stay close to the Lord so he can reveal to you these people because you see, this is how extra people go down. This because everybody want to get on one person team and gang up against somebody like of like all my enemies are gathered. They don't even know each other. They gathering because of me. And then because of this lie being told or this lie that was told, not everybody finna go down and everybody finna get judgment for what they did. It's just my scenario. So for you not to get that kind of punishment, don't believe what people tell you. Deceit is in people's heart. Okay. Always test the spirit. We speak on that a lot. Spiritual discernment, testing the spirit of who is speaking to you. The devil, I always say this, the devil can be cunning. He can be, he's a trickster. He tricked Eve in a, in a garden. So he, it's the same tricks. It's just, he's clever with it and cunning with it. So you got to really be in the Holy Spirit to catch the devil. Because he's like a, he changes his appearance and changes his voice and all of that. Like, he nasty, man. He's so nasty. He's so nasty. He will make you go to hell with the wrong person knowing you didn't have nothing to do with this battle. But he lured you in and so now you finna go down with everybody. And so in order for not that, for that not to happen... First of all, we're not supposed to be gossiping. We're not supposed to be gossiping. This is how a lot of people fall because of gossip. Because everybody's trying to be on teams instead of just walking with the Lord by themselves. Everybody want to talk about this one or like if somebody comes to you talking about somebody, hang up the phone. Don't sit up there and, and give energy to the conversation or light. Like it's because especially because you don't know if that person is anointed by God or not. So if you sitting up there talking about an anointed one, God says, do no harm to my prophets and touch not my anointed ones. The ones that he himself called and chose. You're going to get you're going to get your consequence, your judgment from the Lord. It got brighter. Praise the Lord. Then it got dark again. He's speaking. So anyway, this is how I'm serious. This is how this. This is exactly how a lot of people are gonna go down and get their judgment because instead of them going to the Lord and and just praying about what they were told or. Asking the Lord to reveal who's telling a lie, who's telling the truth. They went for what they were told and they went on the wrong side. And now everyone who has something to do with what God is bringing judgment on, it just depends on your situation. Everyone who has something to do with it is getting a part of that judgment that God is bringing. Who talked, who had a curse to say. And by the way. When God says curse, he don't mean profanity. Profanity, F-U, this piece of S-H-I-T, like that's profanity. Curse is like when Job cursed the day he was born, when he was going through his trial and tribulation. <laughs> one time, <laughs> one time my grandma overlooked some money up under her pillow, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord showing me this story. So one time she overlooked some money, right? She thought it wasn't in a place where she thought it was. And she called my mom panicking, right? And so my mom was like, I curse whoever stole that money. I curse the day they was born. I curse them. I curse them. Like my mom was cursing, right? So I heard the Lord say, she cursing herself. <laughs> 
So I didn't say nothing. I was just listening. And then like a few minutes later, my grandma called back and she was like, I found it. I found it. And someone was like, yeah, I was hoping so because I was cursing up a storm over here. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to curse nobody. You're not supposed to curse nobody. It doesn't matter how bad something gets. And the reason why she did that is because we had an event, that same event. Or we had something at my grandma's house that day. So she thought somebody in the family came in there and took it. But you see how fast that test was to show. That's why God said you can't get nothing past him. He will put you in a predicament to test your heart, to test what you would say in times like that. And then that will show him if you are supposed to be called and chosen by him to be over nations, for him to trust you over his whole body. You can't curse nobody. Now, I don't use a lot of profanity over my lifetime, but I never cursed nobody. I never said, I cursed, no, 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 no. I still slip up from time to time and use profanity, which I'm still getting delivered and healed from. But I never cursed nobody. Like, I never said, I hope you die. Now, I don't wish that for myself going through my own trial and tribulation, which I've been very transparent on this channel. I wanted to die a time or two going through this walk with the Lord. But that was when I didn't have understanding that he was calling me. I thought my life was just going crazy and I'm seeing the devil and I'm seeing angels and I thought it was a lot going on. <laughs> but anyway, as far as cursing people, like I hope you are, I, I curse the day you die like Job did. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to curse nobody. And anytime you do that, you cursing yourself. You know that? Especially if it's a child of God and you don't even know. That's why you got to be careful. You don't know who the Lord is calling. Especially while they're in exile. Or while they're still um, smoking or drinking or fornicating or on a block. Like you don't know who this person is going to be. God calls the unqualified and then he makes them qualified. So you really got to, this in this whole scenario, be careful on whose side or whose team you're jumping on based off of gossip, based off of uh, what somebody told you. He said, she said, and you didn't concern nothing with the Lord. You didn't ask him. You didn't go in prayer. You didn't do no fast about it. You just took it for what it was. You get judgment too. You get judgment too. So, be careful. Okay? Do not believe him. The one who hates. So, like, basically, you have, like, a, hate, a, a person who go around. Like, you know they have hatred in their heart, but they speak in kind words. You know they being fake and phony. Like, you know they just acting. God is saying, do not believe this person. Do not believe this person because lies are stored in their hearts. Goes back to spiritual discernment. Spiritual discernment. Asking the Lord, who is speaking to you when somebody say something? Was that the Holy Spirit, Lord? Lord, what did you mean by that? I got a parable the other day. Let me tell y'all. This is a perfect example. But this man is good. Like, he good. He always, the Lord always used him to speak a parable to me when he walking by. Most times. So, <laughs> I love you, Lord. So, <laughs> he was walking, right? Walking right past me. I was outside doing my thing as usual. <laughs> and he was like, it ain't too far to start walking. So, I said. I knew it was the Holy Spirit speaking, so I said, what you said? And he didn't repeat himself. So I said, that was the Holy Spirit. That's how you test the Spirit. See, when the Holy Spirit says something, the Holy Spirit know you heard what it said. It's God's living Spirit. So when God say test the Spirit, you could do little stuff like that. You just ask. Just ask, Lord. What you said? What did you say? And then... 
See, he didn't say nothing, but the Holy Spirit started ministering to me right after that. And he said it again, and, and I heard the Lord say, it ain't too far to start walking. You could never be in too deep to turn back and say, God, I love you. God, I want to worship you. Jesus, you are real. It's it ain't too far to start walking. It's never too far to repent and come to the winning team, okay? Stop being evil and wicked to people, lying on people. I'm going to read this last part and I'm out. His wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. His wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. So I pray you all have a blessed day and shalom, okay?